We are now moving on in our tour to approach another beautiful primitive home that I know you all are gonna love. This home in Shelburne Museum is called the Stencil House. The Stencil House is named because there are stencils all over the board walls in the home. Rare 19th century painted stencils cover the board walls of each entrance hall parlor and dining room in the stencil house and each room is also a mix of high style and vernacular painted furniture decorative arts and metalwork this stencil house is a farmhouse that was built around 1804 on a farm in columbus new york and is typical of a small side gabled house often found in new york and new england Four rooms downstairs surround a central chimney, and the front door is flanked by pairs of double-hung windows. You might also know this style as a cape, which we have a lot of here in New England. In fact, I own a cape that's been added onto quite often. But let's take a look at this house. It is just something you're not gonna wanna miss. When they first saw it, you know, peeled away the wallpaper, this is what the stencils looked like. Okay. Uh, we're talking the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And um, museum uh, restoration technology was primitive compared to what we have today. So the decision was made, let's repaint this as faithfully as we can to the shapes and the colors. But in a way, this is interesting because this is what it would look like in the 1820s when it was just finished. Mm -hmm. uh, the 1820s was the period of, of the greatest use of um, stenciling. Uh, the stencilers were uh, workmen uh, and they would uh, go from village to village with their pouch uh, with the stenciling shapes. The shapes were either in metal or in leather. and. Um, we actually have a stenciler's pouch and his shapes in the Stagecoach Museum, uh, Stagecoach Inn, which is just beyond the big covered bridge. And if you haven't been there, I think you'd really enjoy going to see that. The stenciler's equipment is uh, upstairs. Uh, when you're going up the stairs, it's going to be on your left hand wing. Um, we do not know the names of these uh, stencilers, uh, they were humble workmen. Uh, except for one man, and we're almost, his name survives in documents, and we're almost certain he is not the man who did this. Sorry to disappoint you, but he, we don't think he did this. But anyway, this gives, uh, gives us an idea of, um, of what it looked like. Now, the living room is a real treat. We have two uh, angles of vision, two different doors, open doors, that, that we are going to use to uh, take a good long look at it. Uh, the first one is here. I'll come up first and give you a little bit of inf information. Then I'll walk away and take as much time as you want 
uh, to admire it. Then we're, we're going to go back here for a brief pop quiz, and then we will circle through the kitchen and look through the other door. Okay. <laughs> oh. Now this oh. is reproduction. Okay. This is not original. The living room is 99% original. Okay. It was very gently cleaned by the museum 10 years wow. ago, but this goes back to most probably the 1820s. Oh. And a couple of uh, comments about this. Take a look at the walls of the two outside walls. Those walls are composed of uh, planks that have been laid horizontally and they give you structural integrity because they're attached to the vertical post. But once again, look at the thickness of those planks. Now, the inside walls, which you can't really see, but you will be able to see when you walk around to the other door, these planks are laid um, horizontally. And these are the planks because the plank is the wall. There are no studs. These are very <laughs> thick this is it. planks. These, these are not bearing walls. Yeah. These are the posts that are the frame work uh, of the house. Yeah. Okay, let me get out of the way and uh, take your time, please. Like our yeah, house. Like our, Just like our house. Exactly like ours. And look how thick these are, too. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is right out of here. This is Outstanding. Isn't it? And I think this is going to be your next design. <laughs> right? That's true. I think so. This? Entryway. Oh, this will be your next Yeah. Yeah, I think so. This is the dining room and that's this is the living room. This is the living room, that's the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a teeny little clock. Oh yeah. Wow. Empty like a huge amount of space. Oh, oh the table. That table again. Oh, right. That was not a Melicu table. So uh pop quiz. We have a little wooden box here. It has a curved top with a brass handle and four holes that are cut into that top. So what do you think that box was used for? Crickets. Okay, now Julie, what did you, what did you say it was? Four Again. holes. Crickets. Crickets. Yeah, that Crickets. little box there. Mousetrap? No. If you're living in one village in Vermont and uh, you Pigeon. want to uh, visit your cousin in, uh, in is it uh, carrier pigeons? By stagecoach, you're getting close. The, the and little you doves. Your pet canary with oh, you, the canary. Oh. and you've got the carrying case. Similar to today, some airlines still let you do this. You've got your little tiny uh, teacup Yorkshire Terrier. You put him in a, a, a case and scoot him underneath the uh, seat in front of you. You can. Totally go here. You can? Uh, I'll let you out. Your wife. Will he let us? Are we allowed? Oh yeah, there's room there. Oh. Is he going to tour us up there? I don't think he's going to go all the way down the stairs. Oh. And what's the year again? 1780. No, I don't want you to go first. Shining up the foot. 